I got down to probably about 40 degrees last night. The problem with saying that I'm going to wake up early in the morning is that it's really cold and it doesn't get light until like 6 now. So if I do wake up early then I'll be walking in the cold dark, which just is never appealing. So I guess I should stop saying that. You know it's gotta be good if there's a sign like that. It's amazing trail magic, but the ice cream made me really cold. <laughs> there are so many lakes in Oregon. It's been about a week and a day, but I'm halfway through Oregon. This is where I landed for the night. It smells super smoky this morning. Um, it sort of smelled like that yesterday evening. Um, so I'm not sure if there's another fire or if I'm just um, getting closer to a fire or what, but it doesn't smell very healthy. <laughs> um, you can kind of see see the f meh, like the haze. Some of that is um, mist off the water, but I think um, a lot of it is the smoke. That is probably the coolest thing I've seen <laughs> for a really long time. Well, it's either smoke clouds mixed with normal clouds or clouds that might bring some rain. And although it's really cold, I kind of hope that it does rain <laughs> to get this fire and smoke down. And yet, that's the bluest sky I've seen in a really long time. Obsidian Falls, named because the rock is obsidian. really quite cold. There's frost on the grass. I saw the edges of a creek this morning had frozen over. Not prepared or expecting this weather. I thought uh, in August, at least where I'm from, it's still super hot. Walking through these lava rocks is really neat, but it does make it a lot slower to travel on the sand and rock. This is the last source of water for 20 miles, but I hear this is our last big water carry, so after this, should be a breeze. Stop and look. Oh, I can't see it. There's a mountain over there. Side trip up to a castle.
inside the castle, all made of lava rock. This is kind of neat. When that mountain exploded lava a long time ago, uh, the lava flowed down and missed these two islands here. So you have little islands of trees where the lava didn't hit. Now I'm on one of those islands. So very thankful to not have to be going over that black lava rock. It's very painful and tiring. It's just mind blowing. That was once just lava. Cruising down the mountain. Essentially we're having to cross this entire lava field down to the islands where I came from and up to that mountain. It's taking forever. It's worse than Pennsylvania on the AT. Hallelujah. I'm done with this. Probably at least for now. It's probably going to come back. Here we go again. Well, it's gotten overcast and windy. And weird clouds. Well, my best experience where I've been, that means that there's some weather coming. So, we'll see if that holds true for Oregon. Woohoo! Taking Sire Trail to Big Lake Youth Camp. I've heard a ton about it. At this amazing place with free food, free showers, free laundry, free Wi-Fi, free charging, free camping. Of course, all on donation, but stoked to go. I have almost a mile of a side trail though. Woohoo! It's cold and a little bit drizzly out. Uh, tried to get up early, resist the temptation of staying for breakfast. Um, so I'm headed out. Uh, hope to do a lot, a lot of miles today. Because I only did 22 yesterday, so I'm trying to make up for that. And uh, just get further up the trail. Um, shooting for another resort tomorrow. Uh, hopefully tomorrow morning. Um, where I can have breakfast there. Woohoo! Back to the PCT. Now these miles will count for something. I found this in a hiker box. So to celebrate 2,000 miles, which is only one mile away, and because it's cold and I haven't had breakfast yet, I'm gonna enjoy it. 2,000 miles! Yeah! Forecast says that it is sunny and warm. Well, kind of warm. In reality, it is raining and cold. Uh, but that's okay. Because that means stopping is no fun, and then I'll just keep walking and then maybe make one miles. In theory. Trail magic! This day keeps getting better. Probably down to the 40s with the wind chill. At this point, it might as well just snow. Well, I'm sure usually there's a really epic view right here. I can't really see much of anything right now. The clouds are lifting, I think. Unless it's just a sucker hole. But you can actually see the mountains over there. Um, so maybe the sun will come out. That'd be nice. My hands are so frozen I can barely use them. The sun. The sun. The sun came out. At least for now. But I will enjoy it.
and around on that ridge line for about four hours, which is really stupid. Because, <laughs> uh, it's not the day to be walking on top of a ridge. The wind and snow. Well, it's not snowing, but it could. The wind and the rain and the cold. Um, so yeah, I'm soaking wet. Or my bottom half is. I'm warm on my top. Which is the most important part. Anyway, now we're going downhill, so... That's the good news. Um, I think I have six or seven more miles. Hopefully I can make it before it gets too dark and cold. We'll see. I was feeling pretty good all day, even with all the wind and rain. Had a really awesome attitude. Bring it and push through. But these last five miles are just killing me. Um, Obviously, the, the wind has died down at lower elevation in the trees. It's no longer rainy. But, uh, yeah, my feet are in incredible pain. Um, my bones feel like they're bruised. I wonder if it's because rocking, walking on all those rocks yesterday. Um, yeah, hopefully they get better overnight. But it's been very strange, like I've been in a fog all day. Literally and figuratively, uh, just because the fog was covering the sun, and for much of the day I couldn't have told you anywhere near what time it really was, um, just because the sun was blocked off. It's actually really neat. The day flew by. I cannot express how incredible it is to be laying here in my tent, all warm and dry, after such a crazy day. Um, yeah, I broke my PR 33.3 miles today. Unfortunately, 0.8 of those were not on the eight on the PCT, but that's okay. It still counts as my record. Um, yeah, so tired. Uh, but it's amazing to be in my tent and it just makes the tent so much more amazing having gone through all of that cold and wet all day today. Well, the worst part of the day is over. Putting on my dirty wet clothes again. Um, it's still foggy. Uh, but the birds are chirping, so I have hope. <laughs> uh, it was still raining a little bit this morning. Um, but we'll see. Headed up a 3,000 foot climb, first thing in the morning. I see skies of blue, and sunlight too. Yes! That's amazing. So exciting today I can actually see stuff because the fog isn't clouding it's clouding over the views. I think I missed a lot of really awesome views yesterday, which is unfortunate. But I guess the good news is that it kept me going. It didn't make me slow down because today I'm like a turtle. I keep stopping all the time. Woohoo! Made it to the top of the climb. The clouds are still, uh, skirting away, so quite a few of them. It's a little bit chilly. So I stopped at a lolly lake and resort, or something like that, and, um, got some food, chips and salsa. Uh, they didn't have any hot food, which is a big bummer, because that's what I was hoping for last night, but... This will have to do. I also resupplied a little bit, so that was good. Now my pack is heavy, unfortunately. So there are a few PCT hiking challenges um, on the trail that most people do in Oregon. The first of which uh, is the two-week challenge, in which you must hike through Oregon in two weeks. Um, I will be very close to making that, but not quite. So. I can't do that one. Another one is a 24-hour challenge. 
in which you hike as far as you can in 24 hours. Uh, now most people get 60 miles or so um, in that amount of time. Uh, I choose not to do that one because um, I don't want to not sleep for 24 hours and mess myself up with injuries and uh, tiredness and have to um, just be crazy for a couple days until I recover. And that brings us to the final challenge, the 50 mile challenge. This is the one I've decided to do. Uh, this one you have to hike 50 miles in one go, one stretch. Um, so, usually it's done in Oregon, like I was saying before, because it is the flattest state and easiest state. And I realized today that I don't have much Oregon left to do this in. So it kind of crept up on me and it turns out I'm doing it tomorrow. Um, so, taking it easy today. Uh, gonna stop at about 20 miles, camp, go to bed early, wake up incredibly early, um, hike it out, try to get a lot of miles in before sunrise while I'm still half asleep. And uh, my goal is to get to Timberline Lodge, which will be 50 miles. Um, the lodge is famous for the all-you-can-eat breakfast, so I plan on indulging in that when I am finished uh, the following morning. Here we go.